Well, hello, friends and family. We're back at our local Walmart. And we wanted to snatch up some more of these jars. They have just got tons of jars. Uh, they got the wide mouth quart size. And they have shelves of the regular mouth pint size. So we got some more for us and for a friend. We'll get that done. And while I'm here, uh, I was doing a little shopping looking for other items that we could use in our situation. So I wanted to show you guys some of the things that you could pick up at your local Walmart that you can help you in your prepping needs for if anything happens. I'm going to pick up some of these broadheads for my crossbow. I've got two packs of them. And I'm also going to pick up some of the field tips. And these are good for training. And these are also work as well. Um, don't forget about if you're trying to be silent when you're hunting a crossbow or a bow is very good to have for that situation so that's one good added prep for security as well I talk a lot about filtration you've got to have clean drinking water that's safe to drink and you can pick these things up these are the uh, Sawyer water filters they have different ones this one here is $34 this one comes with a gravity bag that you can fill your water up from a lake or pond or wherever and then hook your little bottle to the bottom and you can drain it into a container they even got the life straw drinking bottles which do the same some of these filter out not as much gallons you know they, they're only uh, good for a certain amount of gallons so you can check them out when you go to Walmart. And our Walmart always stocks these things. They have a life straw, one similar to the Sawyer mini filter, but I have a lot of these. And I have them in my vehicles. I put them in my vehicle, inside my home, and in a lot of my go bags as well. So a very much needed item. And these auto fishing reels, I have a case of these. Let's say you're in the woods by a lake and you don't have time to hold a fishing pole. You can set these things up and they automatically work. The fish bites on the bait, it yanks it and hooks the fish. These five gallon aquatainers, which are really good to have. I have probably five at home. I don't have them filled, but when it comes time, I can get these filled. Gives us another container for water. And these, I'll put it back and show you the price. These run at $14.97. You don't have to buy five at one time, you know, if you have some extra cash. It's uh, well worth picking up a few items. When we do come, I've been doing this for many months, many years actually. The Mountain House meals at Walmart, the single meals, these are dehydrated. These last for 30 years. You now this is the beef stroganoff and noodles. They run about $8.94. Don't mean you need to go out and buy a six month supply at one time. You get what you can. And this shows like a date uh, that it's best by 2057. I don't think I'll live that long and the food will still be good. So we pick some of these up while we're here. And, um, you know, I know time is short right now and it could be. I don't know how much time we have, no one knows that. But all the indicators show that we don't have much time. So do what you can, guys. Uh, get what you can, when you can. And at Walmart, man, they got so much kind, so, so many different items that you can use for your bags, you know? You go to the sporting goods, and they have a, a section. Most Walmarts have them. And you can get this stuff and make yourself a bag up. Um, they even have inexpensive knives. Um, I know it's better for a quality knife, but sometimes if you don't have the money for a quality knife, you can get one that you can stick in your bag and it'll still work. A lot of different storage bags you can get. Signaling mirrors. Waterproof containers. And these are good. I, I'm, I've bought a few of these and I put items in. So if 
I'm in a situation that it'll keep everything dry. And Walmart sells these survival kit waterproof bags. So even the bag is good. And it will you can drop this in a lake and it's not gonna leak if it's closed up correctly. It has all different types of survival items in it. You can actually pause the video and kind of read what it has. But yeah, so this right here is 58 bucks. And that's the price on that. It's good to have in a vehicle or well, it gives you some kind of essentials at least. They do have first aid kits. Now we're not talking about major medical like I show you. But at least it's something for little boo-boos, band-aids, little cuts or something like that. Good to have. Don't forget about communication. I don't think I'd choose these, but just wanted to show you. Uh, Baofeng makes a lot of different radios. That go on Amazon and look for Baofeng. And you'll see... The quality of these radios are amazing. So go check that out. Get you some communication because if the internet fails and we don't have cell signal or anything else, you're going to need it. Lots of bags here. You can grab one of these bags and get it filled up and have everything you need. And here in the south, if we're doing act outdoor activities, we don't forget this. Don't forget the bug repellent if you're going to be out. That's something you got to think about, friends. If you plan on running to the woods, you better make sure you have something to keep these bugs off of you. Something to think about if that's in your bug out plans, if that's what you're choosing to do. Because if you think it's bad at home or at a park, getting them thick woods with the stagnant water and you'll see the difference these are like a portable toilet lid you can put a bucket under and it's got a little some legs on it so it stands out see what I'm talking about you can put something under it something neat to have This would be a good addition to your survival kit, propane stoves. They have a they have different ones at this Walmart. I'm not sure about yours, but don't forget about your fuel. Stock up your propane fuel. They have a whole lot of this stuff. Get it and put it up to where if you need it, you have it. And there's different butane fuels. And then the Coleman's for if you have a Coleman stove. Don't forget about fishing. If you plan to have fish, you need to get the supplies to do it. You can pick up different size hooks. You can make you a little survival kit for hooks. They have different sizes, which I've already done that. And you can get you your string. And you can get you your little swivels and your fish weights, different sizes, and then your corks if you fish above water. Pick you all of this stuff up. And you know what, if you don't have the money for a fishing rod, find you a, find you a bamboo pole, clean it up, and you can use that. You hang your string on the end of it. When you're done, you wrap your string around the pole you don't have to be casting all the way out there. You can use a pole for it. You can get you some kind of little small box to put all your stuff in. Um, and make all different size boxes. And that's a good added prep. You can even get some of these, the leaders, where you have four or five or six hooks on one line. And you cast it out and just leave it sit. And then you come back and check it every so often. And if you need ammo for any of your weapons, you need to find it. Because things are getting very slim. And from what we understand, once they get out of all of their ammo here at our Walmart, they're not getting any more. So make sure you check your ammo supply. If you have firearms, 
some of you might not use firearms or don't agree with them <clears throat> and that's fine but if you if the ones that do need to make sure they get it the car that I drive has a hatchback so I got one of these tucked away in it because I can actually fill this up lay the back seats down and actually have a place to sleep if I get into a situation that I can't get home so it was a little update about what we're doing here we're gonna go to the checkout line and get all of this taken care of we're gonna go to the Academy see if we can get some bolts for our crossbow so I hope everyone's well stay safe always remember to prepare for the unknown